we're going to look at the end of month function EO month what that will do is it will tell us the last date within the month that a date for a date we specify so for example EO month has two arguments start date comma and then the number of months forward or backward from that date now if you want to calculate or return the end of the current month then you put in a zero now what the end of month function does is it returns a date serial number and we have to change that to a date by reformatting the cell so home tab number group and I can from my menu of different formats I can choose something like short date now it's the 31st of May 2017 the last calendar day within this month if I copy it down and I'll do the same for all the other dates so what about the end of the next month equals EO month so I take my start date again and this time I'm going to say go forward a month so I put in a one format it again short date copy it down and it calculates one month on from the end of this particular month well you take your start date you get to the end of the month and you go one month on from that if I wanted to go one month back I'd put minus one and you can see the effect that that's going to have it goes back a month last date of the previous month so beginning of current month well so I want the first day of this month rather than the last day well you can still use end of month to calculate that equals EO month so I take my start date and what I do is I go back a month go back a month which will take us to the last date of the previous month but then I add one so go one day forward from that last day of the previous month copy that down and then I have the first date of the current month in this column we need to work out a membership expiry date and the membership expires after 12 full months so for example in this one we need to go forward to the 1st of June and then the membership starts on the first day of that month and then goes on to uh, goes on for a further 12 months so here we are equals EO a month start date is in a five now temporarily we'll put in a zero close bracket plus one and you can see that that takes us to the 1st of June 2017 but we need to go 12 months on from there so I'm going to put a little 12 in place of the zero and that then gives us our 12 full months of membership and our expiry date in this column we've got to work out the invoice due date which is end of month plus 30 days so equals end of month take our start date comma is the end of the current month so that's a zero plus 30 days there we are that calculates our invoice due date next we need to calculate the end date for a trial period and to work that out we've got to go to the end of the month give it two full calendar months and then the trial period is on the following day so we would say equals end of month we take our start date and what we need to do is go forward two months so i'll close the bracket there but it's the following day that the trial period ends so first of august 2017 so what we've done is we've gone to the beginning of the next month june july two full calendar months and then the trial period ends the following day if i copy that down you can see that, that works for all of these instances so if we took December it would go to the end of December January and February the trial period lasts and then it ends on the following day the 1st of March 
In this cell, I need to calculate the number of days left in the current month. And I'm going to use a combination of EO month and the today function. The today function, if you remember, always returns the current date within your calculation. So I'll start with EO month. So my start date is going to be returned by the today function, comma. And I'm looking at the last day of the current month. So I put a zero in close bracket and then I can just say minus today's date uh, that gives me a date as an answer and I can just change the format of the cell back to general and that tells me there are 27 days left in this particular month I'm on the 4th of October 2016 if I wanted to include today's date then I'd need to add one at the end of the formula and again reformat the cell now if I want to calculate the number of working days left in the month then I have to use the net work days function with EO month and today so let's start that off so equals net or work days so my start date would be again using uh, the today function and my end date would be you uh, be calculated using the EO month function so the start date would be today and I'm looking for the end of that month and then I'm not going to specify any holidays for this particular month so I can just close the bracket and then enter and there are 20 working days left in the month so just to recap on that formula net work days you specify a start date which would be today's date and the end date is calculated by eo month so that takes today as its start date and zero specifies that i'm basically moving forward no month so it's the end date for the current month and then I just need to close the brackets in the network days function because I'm not going to use the holidays argument. And that gives me 20 working days left this month. And the good thing about both of those functions is because they're using the today function, they will automatically recalculate every time I open the worksheet.